what is going on everybody welcome back to another video today and today we're covering the upcoming game brought to you by embark studios it is a new third person shooter called arc raiders so if you guys don't know this game has been pretty hyped up over the past couple months since its announcement and we all know that embark studios is the former dice developers those the same developers that helped create battlefield 3 and 4 and 5 and 1 like all those ones that we tend to love when it comes to the battlefield franchise but before we get into it and about the genre change please be sure to like and subscribe to the content if you guys enjoy more if you guys subscribe you'll see all the latest news reviews of stuff that i like to cover around the channel and in the gaming industry but let's get back into it what is arc raiders for those of you who don't already know embark studio is the same team that helped create the bf games like i said before they are also in charge of making the highly anticipated free-to-play fps competitive shooter the finals they just recently had a alpha closed alpha about that game so if, if you guys remember that game there was a lot of bit mixed reviews but the way the quality of the game looked and the sound it, it was something to a lot of people were excited about i think the biggest hurdles that people were having were kind of balancing the actual gameplay loop of it but nonetheless people are still really hyped for that and so alongside this game this is an open world third person co-op shooter or what was a co-op shooter now arc raiders is now changing to a pvpve survival extraction shooter the announcement was made a couple weeks ago and this is basically from one of the leads at embark studios they said last spring we made the decision to move the release of arc raiders in order to focus on releasing the finals our team-based first person shooter as our first game at the time we also were giving the arc raiders team time to add pvp to the existing foundation of the game since then over the course of development arc raiders has taken shape in what we believe to be a truly promising pvpve survival extraction shooter a game that stays true to arc raiders universe while having a blast testing internally arc raiders drops players into a lethal but stunningly beautiful future earth with hair raising moments of survival and suspense human versus machine human versus human together or alone and you versus sometimes conflicting nature of your own humanity all in the spectacular backdrop of a landscape littered with the haunting remains of the past so kind of the general reception to everybody that's having that's that was excited about this game there's a lot of mixed reactions about this new genre switch um a lot of the co-op pve fans were excited about this game they brought in a lot of hype because there's honestly there's been a lack of high quality co-op shooters for just those pve fans so a lot of them are very disappointed but now there's also some people who are now excited about the game that otherwise didn't really care about it there's there's kind of both sides of the spectrum so it's kind of causing this mixed reception about it because i think a lot of people who were excited for the finals and then they played the the alpha test they were a little disappointed or i don't know they were a little mixed on how they felt about it so now with them also doing another pvp style game this is probably enticing a lot of people so it's been a lot of back and forth where i kind of stand on the issues i'm kind of in both camps what makes me excited about the new direction is that i am a fan of the extraction style gameplay um, and based on what i saw from the finals i believe they can put together a high quality game this is a team that has tons of experience years of experience and even though a lot of people and including myself thought the finals gameplay loop needs some work i do find the actual product the fps controller the graphics the audio I found the game to be built really well in a high quality level type of game. Um, but what makes me disappointed is that, like I said, I do think the industry is in dire need of a new high quality looter shooter that has replay replayability. Right now, it seems like the only good AAA one or only good like popular one that's out right now that people are still playing is Destiny 2. And Destiny 2 is now a six year old game and a lot of people are tired of it. And then, so I feel like we really need another co-op shooter to go in there and kind of shake things up a bit and actually add a high quality one because the likes of Warhammer, Dark Tide, Redfall, and countless others have just all kind of been bust over the past few years. And I think we really need a good high quality co-op shooter that can last and have future support and a community behind it that can help it grow. 
and also too i'm kind of like what, what makes me lean towards a little bit more disappointment as well is that there's already a lot of extract extraction shooters that are on the verge of coming out or are already out specifically a third person one that's in the works is the division heartland which i'm going to be covering soon in the next couple months um that's one of the few that's going to be a pretty close direct rival to embark studios in this arc raiders project so and then also bungie bungie just announcing marathon and then who knows what else is to come so i just feel like there's already kind of a lot of extraction shooters out there and i do feel like we're in dire need of a co-op looter shooter but at the same time i am excited because i do like that genre and having more competition in that genre can make it can can cause for a better game to come out um as for the outlook of this i i get it i get why they made this move i think it's a good business move i understand especially for a brand new development team a brand new development team trying to put their foot in the door and gain potential funding for new games that they want to do in the future or even further support this game and the finals i understand why they took this route i think it's going to be a more beneficial route from a financial aspect i get it and the possibilities for them to potentially grow even more but i still think there is a possibility that there could be a pve mode in the future because of the fact that this game already was built to become a pve co-op shooter first they could already have that system and those experience built out and we've seen other games have both with call of duty with warzone and zombies we see it with d2 with destiny 2 with the pve mission aspect and then also the pve competitive shooter aspect the division another indie game and shatterline so it's possible to still have both and i think they they still will i think but their primary focus is going to shift to this new genre like i said i do think it's a little disappointing because of the fact that you have the finals and maybe let the finals be that pvp free to play competitive shooter for you and let arc raiders be this separate thing but like i said at the end of the day i get it it's a good business move but let me know what you guys think down below are you guys excited about this genre switch do you think they're still going to add the co-op mode to it let me know what you think and if you guys haven't done so already like i said please like and subscribe to the content to see more reviews and news in the gaming industry